What is going on? Or, uh, wow, way but <laughs> butchered the heck out of that one, you guys. What is up? Comic Brains here with another video for you. Uh, super, super excited to be with you guys. I uh, figured I'd just give you guys a quick video, quick update on uh, what I've been doing with my room and, uh, you know, um, kind of like what I've been doing with the comic book room that I'm trying to build and. You know, I also got some three big key books to the show for this video, so just a uh, quick update for everyone. So um, yeah, we can just jump right into it. Hope everyone's having a great uh, a great week so far. And well, yeah. So anyway, it's talk comics. So yeah, I most definitely want to say thanks to everyone, uh, everyone's channel I've been watching and getting updates on uh, stuff to look out for to build new awesome comic book racks and you know the uh the um home depot idea with the laundry racks freaking i love it awesome um awesome setup i absolutely love that and then uh, another thing that i found out too is uh, uh great frames if you guys are looking for uh frames to put comic books and just hang them up uh, go to the dollar tree um that's where i went to get these and they they work great um can't be can't beat a buck to hang some um, some sweet comics on, you know. And especially if you're on a budget, most definitely uh, take that in consideration. Dollar Tree has some awesome stuff to, you know, kind of home deck or if you guys are looking at trying to get some stuff put up or, you know, just kind of uh, get some ideas for comic book room. So, but anyway, I just kind of threw some uh, some some key books up there, some of my J. Scotts. Uh, Psylocke, She-Hulk, Amazing Adventures number 11, um, Inhumans, Mutants, some more Turners, that's Autograph Turner in the corner, uh, Identity Crisis, which by, actually in my opinion I think the, the Identity Crisis 1 through 7 is by far one of my favorite sets Turner has done, I absolutely love that set, I think that's one of my favorite favorite covers it really captures you really get to see the work that he really gets to do with every with every just everything the drawing males and females and emotion i think i think that set really captured what he, he was really capable of doing so you know i really love i really love the identity crisis uh one through seven i think that was just a great set he did uh, another connecting set by J. Scott, the uh, G.I. Joe and Danger Girl. I really like that set. And, um, you know, I still got some work to do. Uh, uh, still got to do the wallpaper. Um, got some stuff in the corner, some more CGCs I put up. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. I picked this up for six bucks, I believe. Uh, downtown Nampa, and I just kind of threw all my uh, favorite novels in there. American Vampire, you gotta have Watchmen, 100 Bullets, I really like 100 Bullets, gotta have a uh, Dark Phoenix Saga, this is actually the first edition of the Dark Phoenix Saga, which is pretty cool, I've read it a gazillion times, so it's really not the best of shape, but it's still awesome to have, uh, Hellboy, V for Vendetta, Revival, Zombies, uh, Neil Gaiman, another one of my favorite authors. X um, Mechanica, Executive Assistant, really good. Uh, probably one of the better titles Aspen has done. Uh, Mind the Gap is really good by McCain. Um, so, oh, if any of you guys have read this, uh, let me know what you guys think of this. I just, it's an older title, but it's called Sheltered. It's by, uh, Brisson and Chrisman, uh, I can't pronounce that, was it, uh, Shank, Chankahama, but this actually, I just, I just got this the other day, and this is, a uh, of a pretty f freaking crazy novel, I, I didn't realize they could take a novel that far, you know, it's basically kids that are running the pre apoptic pre apoptolytic uh, uh life you know it's uh um you know pretty crazy if you know if kids were running 
uh, the world without any parents and they take it to way extremes you know they really push the limit in that book and I, I think that was really crazy yeah it gives you a whole nother outtake you know other than just like walking dead and zombies uh this most definitely was a, a new one and i really i really enjoy uh i only read the first five issues but i most definitely want to try to get the other ones because it's it's really crazy and i really like it i think it's different and that's what it's something that i've been looking forward to something different but anyway we can get back to the room um like i said i'm just kind of just throwing stuff up and just trying to get a feel of what i want to do uh go over number two and um, hulk number one for spread hulk uh, more J. Scott Campbell stuff. Um, got some x Men. Really happy to put the famous trio up there. More comics I got to put away. I didn't really change my uh, X-Men wall. I still kept all my favorite titles up, which I most definitely probably won't change because I really like how that wall's looking. And, I, yeah, I think I won't do anything. I did put these up in... Uh, these were the my two Michael Turner covers I just got back. I'm super happy to have those. And obviously I'll keep my uh, piece of artwork up. Uh, if you guys aren't, uh, if you guys are new to my channel, I did in one of my very first videos. But this is a piece of artwork that I illustrated uh, back in 2012. Uh, I illustrated kind of like I Marvel's iconic people, uh, John Romita, you got Steve Ditko. Stanley, Kirby, Simon, and Sinnott. And I went and put uh, kind of like the like iconic characters in the background, like everybody that they worked on. And I uh, went and met uh, Stanley at Wizard World and uh, had him sign it. And he thought it was really cool. He gave me a couple compliments on it, and I thought it was really awesome. And I had him sign it. and. Uh, I think I stated it before, but I think it would be so awesome to have everybody else signatures on anything. I think that thing would just be so freaking awesome. But we know that's not going to happen. So, But anyway, I'm still happy with the way it turned out. So that's my room so far. Uh, like I said, it's a freaking mess. I got stuff everywhere. Um, I, got, I got a new mat that I'm going to put down. I got comics everywhere. Um, everyone's familiar with those awesome key books right there but we can go ahead and jump into the three big books that i got i'm super excited to share these with you guys so first one let's go ahead and reveal we got the teen titans number one uh 1966 this was the first first book to their ongoing series super super happy to have this i've been see seeking this out for a while so happy to have it to my uh my family comic book family so yeah i'm really stoked i got a very good price for it so i can most definitely check that off and for these two books uh, i'm really happy i got these books it was a uh, i got a great great deal um you know it's hard to find these books and uh, i'm just happy to have them now because they're just gonna go up in price so i'll just go ahead and uh reveal them here we'll, we'll look at that really quick and go ahead and come back down there you are ladies and gents uh finally have them this is a werewolf by night number 32 and 33 super high grades covers are still super glossy um and there's a couple a couple nicks right there and there's one right there too but I cannot go wrong with with this grade. I'm most definitely super high, super excited to have both these in my uh, in my collection, 32 and 33. So, anyway, there you have it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and uh, liked what I had to share. Uh, it was just a quick little update, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my room so far. And until next time, keep it nerdy and comic brains out.